Hi, Blaine here. Install the Pocket FM app by clicking on the link in the description and unlock all seasons of our story rekindled hearted. You two know each other? Yeah, what's the big deal? But how? How do you know her? Zoe, why are you so worried about it? You look like Sophia's some kind of threat to me. Just answer me, please. She's my love rival. She texts me here and there and sometimes calls. Not like we're besties or anything. Just steer clear of her, all right? But why? She knows you like her fiance. I'm just worried she might do something to you. <laughs> Come on, Zoe. Sophia could have heard a fly. What makes you so suspicious of her? There's nothing like that. I know her because she is my design client. Ziva sensed something amiss. Later that night, Zoe quietly waited for Blaine in the emergency room. It wasn't until around one in the morning that Blaine was finally free. What happened? Ziva saw you at her house this morning. <laughs> that bit. Blaine! <sighs> Sorry, I was exhausted, Zoe. Driving home would have been a bad idea. Zoe glanced at the clock, showing her discontent. When does your shift end? It's already past one. Blaine smiled a little and stood up, ready to leave. Zoe followed him, puzzled. I should have been off hours ago, but emergencies happen. I'm going to freshen up in my office. Zoe nodded and followed him into the office. As Blaine went for a shower, Zoe was left staring at his computer, resisting the urge to explore. Zoe! Suddenly, Blaine's deep voice echoed from the shower. Yes? Hand me my towel. It's in my locker. Number 203. A sturdy arm extended from the shower door. As Zoe handed the towel, she slipped on the phone. Ah! Blaine swiftly caught her, pulling her back against his chest. Didn't expect you to throw yourself at me like this. Why so impatient? I... I didn't mean to. Blaine's voice was revealing a hint of desire. He tightened his hold, drawing her even closer. <sighs> Let go of me. You disturbed my shower. I didn't do it on purpose. You asked for the towel and there was soap on the floor. I slipped. Wait, you didn't do this on purpose, did you? Blaine smirked, calmly rubbing her waist. He leaned in for a kiss, but Zoe playfully dodged, making him land on her cheek. No. Blaine ignored the plea, kissing her deeply. But suddenly, he ended the kiss, letting her go. Go on. I'll be out soon. Zoe, with a blush, hurried out, gasping for breath. After that night, she purposely avoided Blaine. A few days passed when Sophia paid a surprise visit to Blaine's office. Hi, Blaine. Why are you here? Aren't you heading to work? I had some free time, so I thought I'd pay you a visit. Blaine pushed back his laptop, turned to face her, and gave her a polite smile. You came all this way just for me? Of course. They took a seat beside him, and Blaine smiled, charmed by her presence. Thank you, but you didn't need to. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about something. Tell me. I want you to accompany me on a picnic tomorrow. A picnic? Yeah, it's been so long since our last date. Sure, a picnic sounds good. Great, I'll call you later with the details. I gotta go around and dinner with a friend. See you soon. Blaine had no idea that the friend Sophia was referring to was Ziva. Ziva, I'm planning a picnic for tomorrow. You wanna join? Despite the initial dislike due to Blaine, Ziva had developed a reluctant friendship with Sophia. Who are you going with? Just Blaine and me. Dr. Dexter is going too? Why not? He's my fiance. Stop showing off. Well, I did ask you to come along. Of course I will be joining. But remember, you invited me. If I win him over, it's on you. 
I have faith in him. All right, it's a date. May the best woman win. Ziva, eager for the competition, asserted her confidence. Sophia, with a gentle smile, threw in a surprising suggestion. Why not invite Zoe too? Why would you suddenly want to invite my sister? Blaine and I have grown close to her. She's been working on our house and she might want to join the competition. I'll ask her. This will be a picnic none of us forget. When Ziva had initially invited Zoe for the picnic, Zoe had declined. But after over an hour of Ziva's pestering, she finally relented. She parked her car in front of the Forest Service Station. I am so excited for today. I know. That's why I am here. This is going to be a great day. You will see, Zoe. Um, what are Sophia and Blaine doing here? Ziva, I'll explain it to you later. Blaine was surprised the moment he saw Zoe and Ziva getting out of the car. Sophia quickly headed towards Ziva, leaving Blaine annoyed. Zoe was equally displeased. Zoe, it's great that you came too. Zoe glanced at Blaine, finding his gaze on her. I've changed my mind. I won't be joining you. You three, have fun. What? No! We rarely get time to hang out. Unless, of course, you don't like me. Or maybe you don't like Blaine. Zoe sensed something off about Sophia's insistence, raising suspicion. Yes, yeah, sis. Just keep us company. You've been so busy lately. Zoe agreed as she wanted to ensure her sister's safety. They claimed a spot and Blaine set up the grill. After preparations, he suggested gathering firewood. I will go with you, Blaine. I'll also go with Dr. Dexter. Sophia, you come with me. Sophia proudly looked at both Ziva and Zoe and left. While gathering firewood, Sophia began to play her mind games. Blaine, Zoe said we're a perfect match. She wants us to marry soon and start a family. All of this wood is too wet. Let's go over there. Blaine, are you even listening? Blaine removed his windbreaker, revealing his muscular physique. Okay, let's not talk about it, but leave on your jacket. You don't want to catch a cold. It's fine. Let's go. And you heard this, but not that. Blaine didn't respond and walked deeper into the woods. Sophia was following him. Oh my god, it hurts so bad. What's wrong? I twisted my ankle. Help me sit over there. Blaine turned around as Sophia grabbed her ankle in pain. Blaine guided her towards a small rock when suddenly the ground beneath them collapsed. They fell into a deep hole. Ah! Blaine! Where are we? Oh my god, I'm so afraid. Uh, how will I even get out of here? Ah, uh, don't be scared. It's just a hunting trap. What? We're trapped? No! No! Help! Somebody please save us! Sophia held Blaine's arm, but Blaine, being worried and feeling uneasy, pushed her away. Blaine, you don't seem fine. What happened? She touched his forehead. Oh my god, you're so hot. What's wrong with you? I need to get out of here. Blaine felt that he had been drugged and panicked to find an exit. Has Blaine actually been drugged? Will Blaine and Sophia manage to escape the hunting trap? Or is this all a part of Sophia's plan? Hi, Blaine here. Hope you're loving Recon of Heartache. Keep following us as we release new episodes of Recon of Heartache Season 1 on YouTube. If you wish to jump the queue and unlock all seasons of the audio series, you can install the Pocket FM app by clicking on the link in the description. To watch the next episode of Season 1, tap here. And to watch the full season one, click on the playlist.